Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Today I'm going to read a book called A House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carle. I'm going to try to dress kind of like the ocean with my shirt today. Time to move out, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean, but it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new house soon. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside it to see how it felt. It felt just right, but it looks so well, so plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It is so clean and it needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the sea floor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. This house is starting to look really nice. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked a crusty coral gingerly means gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling all, all over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hardworking you are, said Hermit Crab, would one of you be willing to come and help clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you guys look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like a nightmare, cried the sea urchin. Would you go in there? Let's see. Now it's September. It's almost been a whole year. In September, hermit crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. How bright you are! Would one of you be willing to light up our house? 
I would, replied one lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. That is cool that they light up. In October, when it's Halloween, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth petal pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered Hermit Crab. Let's see. His house is perfect now. Uh-oh, but in November, when there's Thanksgiving, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little, over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanterfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They have been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They are like family. How can I ever leave them? In December, when it's Christmas, a smaller Hermit Crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know a place for me? I have outgrown my house, too, answered Hermit Crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. See? The following January, it's been a whole year. Hermit Crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Her Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but... Sponges, he thought, barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. The end. And here are some interesting facts about some of the animals, and I'll read that to you guys. Sea anemones may look like flowers but they are soft animals polyps without bony skeletons they come in many shapes and colors with their many arms and tentacles they catch their prey some specialize in attaching themselves to the shell of a hermit crab then they protect and camouflage the hermit crab and in turn may share the hermit crab's meals this arrangement is um, benefit for each other, right? They work together. A starfish. There are many kinds of starfish. Most have five arms growing from a central disc. The mouth of a starfish is on the underside of this disc and it has a single simple eye on each of its arm. So it has five eyes and coral, which is this, are somewhat similar to um, sea anemones that build hard skeletons around themselves. Then hundreds and hundreds of them stick together, forming a whole whole colony. Some look like branches, others look like round, disc-like. Millions upon millions fuse themselves together to build mile-long coral reefs. And snails, you guys know about snails, there are approximately 80 thousand species of snails and slugs. Some live on land, others live in the sea or in lakes. Some carry a shell, and those are their houses on their back, and others have none. And the snails can come in many colors and shapes. I always see them when it rains. C. 
sea urchins. Some are fat and round, others are thin and spiny. Many have long spines, sometimes poisonous, with which they move around and dig into the mud or rocks. So the sea urchin was this black spiny thing. And then a lantern fish, like fireflies, have luminous or light producing spots in their bodies and light up in their dark surroundings. It's the lantern fish. And then there was one more about the hermit crab. Hermit crabs live on the ocean floor. Their skin is hard except for their abdominal, which is soft. To protect this soft spot, the hermit crab burrows a shell and makes this its house. See? Then only its face and feet and claws stick out from the shell. That way, it can see, walk, and catch its food. When the hermit crab is threatened, it withdraws into a shell until the danger has passed. Have you guys ever had a hermit crab as a pet? I used to. When I was little, I had little hermit crabs. And I've actually seen hermit crabs in the wild. When I went to St. Lucia, there were hermit crabs walking around on the beach. That was really cool. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that and learned about all the different animals. And I hope you guys have a pleasant, wonderful day. Bye, guys.